There is just something to seeing an American flag blowing in the wind. But when one Colorado veteran noticed flagpoles without flags on them, he made a career change. Time comes for us all. It's a neat old structure. It'll be here long after I'm gone. And when it's time for old glory to be replaced. To me, it, it, I just want to see a flag on that flagpole. That takes Todd Ross. We'll go up this spiral staircase now. All the way up. Right, here we go. From stairs. It's a little wobbly. <laughs> to ladders. It, uh, it's not going to go nowhere. To the tiny room. A little tricky through there. On top of a bell tower. Here we are. Top of the world. <laughs> it's because there isn't any way to access the flag on top of the Daniels and Fisher clock tower on Denver's 16th Street Mall. From the top of the pole to the ground is about 485 feet. No way except for Ross to climb even higher. Pull myself across the dome, then I'll get onto the pole, and then I'll go up the flagpole. So, here we go. What some might call an extreme sport is Ross's full-time job with the ever-present question, are you crazy? Well, I've known that for way too long. <laughs> Nearly 500 feet in the air with special bracing shoes, the tallest fabric inspection you'll ever see. It's uh, something people don't see every day or even tomorrow. <laughs> when it reaches a point where it can no longer be flown, then we'll put a new one up. And that is the time that for Ross is the most rewarding. When that brand new fresh flag's flying and that first puff of wind, yeah, it just gets you right to your core. So he says he'll keep scaling poles, keep doing it for the stars and stripes until time comes for him too. You can't keep me off these things, never. Uh, I'm gonna climb one when I'm 100, for sure. So stick around for that. <laughs> Props to Denver 7 photographer Brad Bogut for climbing all the way up there with Ross. In a Denver 7 Plus exclusive, I chatted with him about what the journey up there was like. You know, to be honest with you, his passion is kind of contagious. And I knew that um, if I could get up there, I could get the shot that I really needed. Um, and so that kind of overtook any kind of fear. I don't really normally have a, a fear of heights. Um, um, but there, occasionally I, it, it, you can get a little nervous. I get, I get nervous on some things like that, but it was, it was at that point, it was just a sort of a driven sort of a thing in my you know, DNA. I got to get this shot. I got to get it. We have more information on Ross's job and mission up on our website, denver7.com.